This world was created for disconnect. Maternity leave six weeks and back to work disconnect. Both parents have to work to afford the house they leave as sitter to watch the kids disconnect. Preschool starting at four years old disconnect. Public school with jam-packed schedules until 18, grooming them for stress disconnect. Now you're an adult, you're expected to move out disconnect. Get a job nine to five minimum to repeat the pattern of disconnect. Sit inside buildings all your life disconnected. But we're called crazy when we'd rather have less stuff to stay connected. I don't need to leave my house to work for the house I leave and the car I work to pay for. I don't need to send my kids to public school to teach them and guide them focusing on their strengths and interests. They make friends everywhere they go of all ages and races. I'm told my kids will hate me as teenagers because we choose to connect instead of feeding the monster of disconnect. Opinions based on their own reality of being raised in disconnect. Living in smaller space focused on connecting means I know my kids when their attitudes shift. What makes them happy or sad, it means we all must communicate and become aware of how we make each other feel. It means more time together, less money spent, and more experiences had. When mental health is taking the lives of 800,000 people a year, I don't think the problem is not having enough space. I think the issue is we've become such a disconnected society that it's strange when families want to bring back connection. It's not for everyone, but with this country as our backyard, having enough space is the last thing my kids are worried about.